Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool frame jump effect in Final Cut Pro 10. As you can see right here, if you watch Matt Ryan really closely, you can see the video kind of stutters a little bit. It's not as smooth as just playing a normal video. The frames kind of jump a little bit, and it kind of creates this low shutter stop motion effect, which is a pretty cool um, effect. I'm going to go over kind of how to create it. It's not an effect that like every video is going to have, but it definitely can add a little bit to your video if you add one of these cool, one of these um, cool effects. Definitely the most super practical effect out there, but I definitely think it's a really cool effect. And it'll definitely maybe make your video um, stand out versus the rest. So basically what I just did was I placed a marker every two frames. So I basically skipped every two frames. Now if you wonder what if I want to do like three or four or five, you can try three frames. I already kind of tried um, doing four, five, skipping four or five frames. It doesn't look so good. So I would encourage you to probably stick to two, but you, maybe you, could, you could push it to three frames and it would still probably look um, okay. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to go ahead and place a marker right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to hold down Option, and I'm going to create a copy right there. Now what I'm going to do next, I'm going to go ahead and make sure I'm starting at the beginning right here. I'm going to go ahead and click on Option F. And what Option F does is it just creates a freeze frame. I'm going to delete the end of this. I'm going to go ahead and set this to, and then I'm going to go ahead and click on Control D to set this to two frames right here. And then I'm going to lift this. I'm going to go ahead and click over here. I'm going to lift this from Storyline. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go one, two. Go two frames in, create a marker. Now you want to hold down Option, and you want to create another copy. And then again, you want to make sure you're lined up right here, lined up on the on the because this is the part you're going to create a freeze frame so before you do that you want to go ahead and click option left bracket we're just going to trim it right there and then and then we'll go ahead and click on make sure you're on the marker option f right here delete the end right here click on control d2 and there you go you have set the duration to um two frames lift from storyline okay so we started at two now we're going to go one two now we're going to go to the fourth frame go ahead and click on option right here to create a copy option left bracket make Make sure you're on the marker right here. Option F to create a freeze frame, delete the end, and then control D, set the duration to two frames right there. And I'm going to go ahead and just lift it from the storyline right here. I'm going to go one, two, go to six right here. Go ahead and hold down option, create a copy, option left bracket to trim it, make sure again you're on the marker, option F to create a freeze frame, delete the end, and then control D2 to set the duration right here, and then lift from storyline. Then we'll go one, two, right here I'm just going to do about five of these. Just to kind of show an example, create a copy, option left bracket. Eventually you get to a point, after you do this a couple times, you're going to get to a point where you, this is going to go by really, really fast once you kind of get the hang of it. So we'll go 1, 2, 10 right here. Uh, hold on, option, create a copy, option left bracket to trim the start, option F to create a freeze frame, and then we're going to go ahead and set the duration to two frames right there. Now we'll go ahead and lift from storyline. I'll just disable the bottom clip right here. So if you watch the top clip right here, as you can see right there, that's how you create this really cool kind of stop motion effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So you can see right here isn't like a super smooth movement. The frames kind of jump every two frames right there. And if you're wondering how do I check and make sure I did it right, what you want to do is you want to click on the beginning right here. Go ahead, click on the top clip and click V. As you can see right here, just enable and disable it. And if the frame doesn't shift right here, it means it's lined up. But if I disable it, as you can see right there, see the, the frame is shifting right there. So you want to make sure that doesn't happen in the beginning, but you want to go the next frame, go into the next frame, and you want to make sure that's happening right there. So you can see right here, I'll disable it right here. And as you can see, every single frame he moves right there. That's the, the normal um, video. There's 24 frames in a second. So I'm going to go ahead and click right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on V right here. And now, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. As you can see, opposed to the video, he moves every two frames. Rather, in the normal video, it moves every frame. So that's basically just the difference. And then as you can see right here, I did 38 of these. You don't have to do that. Uh, you could do more or less, but 
as you can see right here I did a total of 38 frames so yes it took me a long time to freeze 38 frames but again do the exact same thing that I did over and if you're wondering what this is this is just a custom generator um, and I just changed it um, to white right there so I'll go ahead and go over it one more time all you want to do is go one two place a marker right here go ahead so place a marker every two frames hold down option create a copy option left bracket to trim it option F to create a freeze frame delete the end control D two, and there you go and then lift from storyline that's it you just keep doing that 30 40 50 times as many as you want and remember you're gonna do 12 of them per second so this is 24 frames in a second if you're doing every two frames so every second you're gonna have to do uh, 12 so you're gonna do five you're gonna do five seconds you just multiply that by 12 and that way you know if you have the exact amount of frames necessary anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if new to this channel I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time so if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, the Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 200 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace.